Oh, you saw Rush live? Yes. Oh, Where did you so see the him? first time I saw him was like many years later in Brazil, actually. Oh. And it was their first time ever playing Brazil Come in their on entire now. career. And I didn't understand that because they have massive fans in Brazil. You know, yeah. and so they were playing a stadium with like sixty thousand people. Man, that's and, fucking crazy. And we somehow got to meet them and my bass player is a massive Rush fan, like fanatical. Yeah. And so we were there, you know, for the filming and everything, and they put us in their filming oh, of yeah. Rio. So um uh, they did a documentary or no, yeah. they they have a DVD on this. Yes. I've watched this concert. Right. Do they have like the washer and dryer up there? Yes. Yep. yep. Right. I've watched I just this concert. Googled what uh symbols he, he played. That's why I was. But on there's that. like a small yeah. version or Safety. part in the DVD I, I watched it so long ago where we're there and I'm like just Well, you were at this? Yeah, the one the show in Sao Paulo. Wow. And then they and they have a little thing like, oh, a simple tour here, like watch and I was like, Oh my god. Oh wow. But like watching it I, I, I freaked out. Like they were Dude, like the crowd's going insane. They, they were singing yeah. the melodies of the guitar. Yeah. That's awesome. Look at that. Look. That's so Brazilian <laughs> yeah. too, right? Look at, I mean, Dude, I'm getting hyped. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, it was <laughs> oh goosebumps. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lesser known characters. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Lesser Known no Characters, characters. <laughs> where we sit down with some of our favorite people and get to know about them through their musical interests. And today, we have Mr. Derek Green from Sopotora. Yeah, what's, what's up, y'all? Yo, what's up, y'all? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get it, y'all. Yo, what's up? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sopotora in the house, yo. <laughs> That's how we do it, you know. Turn me up in my headphones. <laughs> yeah. Turn me up. I'm yo. glad we Turn I'm glad up. we finally caught him because he this man's been going on tour so much and yeah. he leaves he leave, what you leave on Sunday? I leave on Sunday again. How, how many days a year would you say you're on tour? I don't know. I'd have to count that up, but it's it's, it's, quite, it's quite, <laughs> That's a, one it's way quite to a, find out. It's quite a bit. Yeah. Right? You know? I mean, especially now we're doing a lot of shows with like this farewell the tour farewell, that yeah. we're doing. Wow. So, you know, we're taking our time and stretching it out. Yeah, planning yeah, yeah. like two years at least, you know, maybe yeah. a little bit more to hit everywhere in the world. Do it like we, we this. Gotta, stretch gotta, it out twenty years. No, no. no. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't know about that. We got to go see them when they play. Yes, like, yeah, I would love the, to. They're playing the Novo. That's awesome. Fuck yeah. Right, the Novo. Mm-hmm. Or you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, last year you did the Wilter. Yes. Yes, they're playing the Novo. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. the Novo. We got to go see them, so I can kick you in the face in the pit. Wow. Great. Wow. When's the last time you've been in a mosh pit? Uh, Bad Religion. Like a couple months ago. Oh. You did not get in that pit. I did get in the pit. I have video. You got in the pit. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Yes. No. Why would I lie to you? That's a bad religion pit, so it's probably pretty friendly, right? It's uh, You know what I've noticed is the audiences of the bands that I love, they're just, they're matching my age now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shows used to feel fucking insane, and yeah. now right. it's like a bunch of dudes with hip problems yeah. and fucking... <laughs> Just, but but also still gnarly because they're really trying to relive their youth, you know. Dude, but, I, when I saw Bad Religion in the early early two thousands, it, it was still fucking wild. Yeah, but I've just noticed the it audiences. Wasn't, it wasn't they're like more a, chill. I've noticed this too. More oh. and more, like mm-hmm. everyone's like filming, which whatever, I get it. But like depending on the show, but it's the less, older bands, yeah. yeah, it's less um, intense than it used to be. Maybe it's because I was younger, more afraid, more like and more like in the mix. Now I'm kind of like I watch it, but I don't know. But yeah, I was in that pit. Oh, okay. Wait, the yeah, dwarves? I guess I guess it actually is a fair pit because bad religion is mainly circle pit. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, I don't shout out to the hardcore world, but I I enjoy a circle pit. I remember seeing some the, that band Kid Dynamite. Oh, they, you they did a, they did a comeback, Dynamite? and I was like, oh, I'm in a circle pit. I kept trying to get it started, and fools were picking up yeah, change, yeah, and yeah. I was like, what? Can we just fucking run around? <laughs> yeah, you don't really get drop kicked to the face. Yeah, yeah I don't, right. I don't, I don't. You don't like that kind of watching? It's cool to watch. <laughs> But I don't want to be in there. Yeah. I'm not trying to get fucking sucked. Well, we play people two-step and do all the shit. That's cool. That's good for them. <laughs> I got a full drum kit in front of me protecting <laughs> me. I'm not fucking... <laughs> yeah, there was, there was dudes that were going off at, uh, for us in Long Beach. That big yeah. boy with the fucking... Yeah. L- look, he looked like the crow. Yeah. <laughs> Remember? He had yeah. the tattoo on his face and shit. He's fucking 
Big boy, and he's smoking a cigarette outside. Oh yeah, that guy. Was yeah, that crazy. guy. That I guy saw was, him. That guy was swinging. I, he was swinging. He was, we were like, I was like, damn, bro. He, he was. Yeah, he was feeling it. He was feeling. Relax, it. dude. I know, right? Uh, okay, let's get into it. Yeah. So I, I've known Derek for well, how long now? Four mm, years. About four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Four. I don't years. know. We could count the days, maybe, to find out <laughs> while we're doing the tour calculation. Yeah. So we can count the days. All right, cool. <laughs> and uh, obviously. Every car ride, we have something mm-hmm. that we play. But when it, when it comes to these specific questions, were they hard? No. Some Actually, people, they some were people easier. They were, it was easier than I imagined. But when I first looked at the list, I was like, oh, man, I'm going to need a, an afternoon for this. Yeah. You know, yeah. Really, <laughs> we really, both done it, and we were like, sorry. Yeah, we did it. Because yeah. I wanted like, to be very serious, you know. And then yeah. I was just like, mm, you know, it's like some of these things it's fuck it's kind of yeah. tough yeah i mean when we go through it i can let you know like yeah it's like teetering on certain songs okay, i'm cool. like yeah, yeah yeah we can go to so, yeah the some teeters. people have doubles you know right, some people right. have some like honorable mentions mm-hmm. but so what we do is like so joel and i we don't know your answers okay so what we do <laughs> is we ask the question okay you answer and mm-hmm. then we go from there and then mike has it up for you if you yeah because i will definitely yeah, yeah, forget. Say, yeah. <laughs> i'm excited it's so funny I... how much people forget too. <laughs> yeah 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 and i know why and i figured out why now is because there's so many songs that they're probably thinking of yeah you know they may have wrote down one but yeah. there's probably others where and also like, when people ask me like what's your favorite you know album you've ever had in your entire life it doesn't <laughs> exist like gun to what, your head you yeah know, and it's gun just to like your head. i like a lot of different things you yeah know? it's exactly. never just that's like, that's what i'm excited about because right. even though you sing for a metal band i have a feeling this is going to be pretty eclectic it's pretty diverse. yeah i know i can feel it <laughs> <laughs> yes i do <laughs> <laughs> you have like seven voices there i'm working on yeah, it. yeah. I'm, great. Trying to, I'm trying to get them all uh, down okay Okay, cool. So let's get into it. Okay, fucking, okay. Sorry, this is bugging me. Um, all right. First album you ever bought. Oh, shit. Oh, snizzle. Yeah, this okay. Oh, snap. Wait, you're from New York. No, no where no, are you from? from? Cleveland. I'm Cleveland. originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, okay. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Go Cavs. Oh, fuck oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. I love this one. Oh, Whoa. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I had a... Look at him. Yeah. And I mean, it, was, it is for the people who uh, don't know on audio. Oh, oh yeah. The, the Descendants. Descendants. The Descendants. Bonus Descendants. fat. It was an EP. Yeah. And uh, and I bought it the same day I also bought uh, Rush Moving Pictures. Oh, wow. Um, oh, those... Wow. Yeah. It kind of makes sense a little bit, too, to be... Because to, Descendants are like the prog of punk rock, kind of. Yeah. In yeah. a sense, yeah. All the weird fucking... Dun, 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 I mean, it blew you know. my mind because I hadn't started going to shows yet, and I was just getting introduced to that, and I was in junior high school, and I think a friend of mine, Mark Leiser, yeah. um, he was just like, yo, you got to check this out. And Damn. He's like, yeah, we're going to shows. And This, this was is, in Cleveland? This was in Cleveland. Wow. I was like, whoa. Like, it just so the, what, blew what, my mind. 80 what? 85? 80, 85? I think Man. around that time. 85, Damn. 84. And um, and at the same time, I had a neighbor who who was really into like rock, you know. So mm-hmm. it was just like Rush, and just seeing that album, Moving Pictures, it's just like stayed in my mind. And then having to go to this house and listen to these albums, I was like, I'm getting these, I'm buying these, you know. Yeah. And I'm finally gonna have them at home for myself. And <laughs> yeah. fucking hell yeah, dude. I mean, anyone that hears this, is I know. Just like, you hear it, you know automatically uh, what it is. It you, just still you, sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. It always it will. It stands. Too. Yeah, the strong test of time. It's right. It's so <laughs> damn. But the thing good. about it is, like, from beginning to the end. Yeah. It, it takes you on a, a journey. Oh, the what know? this song does, like, musically throughout the whole thing, it's like it, it is kind of insane and I, and I remember albums of course from a side a and side b and yeah. side b was just like on this album moving pictures took you on a serious mystical journey yeah. i was just like what is going and on here? the whole song makes sense yeah everything you know what i mean sense. like it's uh, nothing <sighs> seems out of pocket like why did they do why decide to do that you know that doesn't you know I think it's like the, it's a perfect blend of where they're going in their career where it was like getting a little bit more into the sense yeah, you know, and but yeah, there's yeah. still a very just rocking, still yeah. rock, and then kind of like crossing over, and then the next album they really make that crossover. Yeah, mm-hmm. really, really dive right. into it. It's yeah, that's those are cra- those are interesting first purchases. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> oh, yeah. like when I did my first purchases, like it was three albums together, but it was it was Dri Black Flag and um, 
was it might have been Minor Threat, I think. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. But it was the, those three. Oh, sorry, GBH, GBH. So it was like throw those three together, which like obviously makes sense. But like Descendants to Rush, that's like a, yeah. you know, very interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, I came from a very eclectic background of music. So my mother was a music teacher and she was oh, always shit. playing piano and at home, playing classical. And she yeah. studied and then she would also play in church. So I'd hear a lot of gospel albums and then a lot of classical music. And then it was just like, and then some jazz. Um, I think that was maybe my sister's influence. And then moving into a neighborhood that was primarily white changed everything as far as like getting more into the rock Mm -hmm. uh, type style of music. Yeah, and just opening the fucking brain even more. Like I just remember my neighbor introducing me to like Beatles, you know, and I was just like, who's the Beatles? Wow. Yeah. You know, and I didn't know anything about that genre of music and – I didn't know anything about like Jewish people. He was Jewish, and I was yeah. like, "Where's your Christmas tree, man?" <laughs> he's just like, "We don't have a Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah. I get presents like eight days or something." Wow. I was like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. Yeah. Just eight like days? I was like, "How many days?" Yeah. And yeah. Just like you got candles in your window, no. and you're like, you, you joined the Black Israelites. You're like, yeah. oh, <laughs> and then I was on the corner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> where you going, brother? Yeah. Where you going, brother? <laughs> Hey brother, let me talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> you do you, you overstand brother. me? Yeah, do you overstand me, brother? <laughs> um, yeah, descendants were huge for me. I was an intern at this record label and uh Doug Carrion, who played bass for them on Enjoy, was uh the VP of sales and marketing. He told me that their mu- they used to practice under reptile heat lamps so that when they would go to these shows, they said the bands were dropping like flies and they would fucking be doing it. Really? And he said they would he they would get sore throats from go from because it was so fast and complex. He'd be going, ah, like trying to <laughs> oh, got it. downstroke it. Yeah. Mm. That's that fast just, shit. Nah, 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 that was Ooh. crazy bass. You, you know, what's, you know what's, uh, what's interesting about you saying like, who are the Beatles? And, it, and it's funny like when you when you discover a band and meanwhile, you know, especially like something like the Beatles, you're yeah. like, I've never heard of the Beatles. People and meanwhile, have been known. The, meanwhile, yeah. they've like been known, but it's like, it's it like, it sounds cool when you discover it like, when you newly discover something that huge, you're oh, like, yeah. oh, wow, this is a big world. I mean, it was the same with Rush. I mean, it was yeah. moving pictures. They had s- classic albums before that. Yeah. I, that I was like, let me just check. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah, my yeah, God. You're like, what? And then I was like, and then I just went down a rabbit hole of, of buying like every album I could of Rush from, you know, that time period. And then just following them, I was like, this is an incredible journey of going past. And the stuff they were creating in the future was For sure. really cool, Damn. too. Damn. Yeah, I was just. So now I'm interested for this next question. Okay. That's one of the fun things of growing up, though. Everyone has to discover a band for the first time at yeah. some point. In yeah. Time. yeah. 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 At it's some point in time, you got to. So discover. enjoyable, man. I mean, it's even like rediscovering. I yes. Mean, I, you, I wasn't into Smashing Pumpkins as a kid. I like didn't like them, and then mm-hmm. now I'm like, there's a whole world of shit I never heard. That, that rediscovering awesome. phase is so beautiful about music, you know, because it hits everyone differently you know and and there are those times where you can go back and and just find something unique that you never thought of before yeah. you know and it i love that about music yeah so okay then what was the anthem of your youth these are the best days of my life <laughs> Wait. back in 69 oh, no, yeah. no, yeah. oh i was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh yeah! Yeah, Doug was in this band too. Yes. He played bass for them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah. god, I love this shit. Nice yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this really tipped the Amazing scale. Amazing record. Because when I first started playing in a band or wanting to be in a band, uh-huh. this was such a huge influence of the style that I wanted oh, to for do sure. in yeah. the band Outface uh, was a band from my hometown and I was a roadie for them and it had these it was kind of in this style, mm-hmm. you know, and it was like, you know, harmonies Harmony, and really cool yeah. stuff. And I was like, oh, my God. And and we did it. I think we even did a cover of Dag Nasty. And it's mm-hmm. just when I hear this, it just, oh, man, it's just I think, yeah, great this, times, this super band positive. This really started the sort of like emotional hardcore yes. mm-hmm. thing, you know. Totally. You know, it, I mean, I love the lyrics. I love the harmonies. I yeah. love the drive of it. You know, it's really just so upbeat. Yeah. And uh, it's it, great. This I mean, and it gives, it gives yeah, you that, yeah, it, cool. like, with cool all the guy. melodies and all that stuff, the the guitar leads, it still gives you that punk feel. That Absolutely, you, 100%. But it just gives you a little bit more range. Yeah, yeah, more range. And I thought that was, I mean, I was really into the darker, like, grungy type stuff mm-hmm. that was out at the time. But this 
It was like a game changer. I was like, man, this sounds so fresh That's and fucking amazing. Awesome. Dope. Also, but, I'm thinking like they had a black singer at a while. Like, Sean was Brown. That, did that like, you know. So I didn't even you, know like, about that until later on. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute. These songs were re-recorded, you know, with the different singer. But I was so oh. used to this, mm. you know, I, it just it stuck in my mind. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I love the Sean Brown versions as well. They're definitely much raw and more hardcore. Yeah. But this was something else. I mean, it, it just, that melodies and harmonies yeah. were something that I really loved because it was a mixture of like screaming at certain times are really aggressive, but yep. I like the mix mm -hmm. because it takes you in different levels, you know, yeah. in the music. And, and that was something I was really into. Yeah, he, hearing Dag Nasty too, uh, like uh, made H2O make a lot of sense to me as well. Right, right, right. You know, when you hear H2O. And I was a big minor threat, threat fan, and yeah. also Brian Baker was playing, and it was like another yeah, Brian Baker. Yeah. I was just like, yeah. yeah, anything he was touching, I was like, yeah. I got to check it out. And his guitar yeah. work is fucking amazing. 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 Yeah. It's a thing that he was playing bass at first in minor threat, and then when they got the two guitars, he went to yeah. guitar. Right. And I think Ian talked about, like, how they – they didn't realize how dope he actually was right. at guitar. Right? Oh, he's an incredible you know I mean? guitarist. It's like yeah. crazy. Yeah, I asked that about the singer because when I found out that Ron Reyes was Puerto Rican, it, it like it changed a lot. I was like, right. oh, we can, I can do this. I'm Mexican, but I was like, it's got this black, black flag has a brown singer. Yeah. And it it yeah. made it like more accessible for me. But yeah, no. When I saw Decline, I was like, who the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what? He's got a rat tail? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. And he awesome. looks gnarly in that fucking yeah, video. Yeah, for sure. That's, Damn, that's a, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah. I mean, even oh. like like Slipknot and Linkin Park, like those like singing and screaming. Yeah. You know, I feel like you could probably trace roots back to, to Dag Nasty or some of those. You oh, know. yeah. Even Alice in Chains was, was like that. Mm. Like they, they where they have like the singing that and seems then all of a sudden hard they, to do. You know, I, yeah. Oh, I couldn't. Beautiful have, singing man. and then right. yeah, yeah. And like, you're like, Chester. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Ch yeah. Chester was yeah. like the king of that. I, I got I got to show you this. I'm gonna send this to Mike. It's a picture of Derek. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh it's, boy. It's my favorite picture of Derek. This isn't like the the Back COVID the guy day. on the bed, is it? <laughs> no, yeah. This is my favorite picture of D Block. Um, uh, it's it's gonna. I'm sending it to you on the gram. What which account would you? Uh, shit. Lesser text or the, it. huh? <laughs> text it. <laughs> text it. Oh yeah, here I got this. We'll do this. I'll text it. Okay. Yeah, it's one of my favorite video or videos. Pictures. Oh, it's a video. No, or is it a photo? Okay. It's a photo. I was a little oh. worried. Now. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna text this to super producer Mike Nell. Nell. This is since we're we're talking about the youthful youth youth of today. The youth oh fuck yeah! Me. Look at that. Yeah, man. D block wow. at what? How old? Uh, I think fifteen. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, With the I just started mix. growing dreads. I was on like really going that way. Bro, right do you know there. how long he had his dreads? No. A long time. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time, like actually too long. I was yeah. damn. Well over almost twenty something years. But twenty was, something years. How long did they get? To like my ass. Damn. You know, it was like really heavy, and it just got to the point where I was like, I hate these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Why do I have this hairstyle for yeah. so it took long? Took twenty years to be like, I hate these fucking. I was just like, I hate that. You kind of feel like you have to yeah. at a certain. Sometimes yeah. you're like, I gotta yeah. do this style. Why did you go right, through right. I tried. You tried, yeah, because you had because you had long. I have hair. very straight hair. Now. I know, and I was about to get them um, like woven, how they do it for yeah, like white yeah. people. And the, my friend, uh, black black woman, she goes, "Why why are you gonna do something that's like not natural for your hairstyle?" And I was like, "Okay." Yeah. It really made me think about it, and I was like, "Yeah, wow. why am I gonna pay this to do that?" And mm -hmm. then I just I never did it. Yeah, because thank, cause thank he, God, this fool had like full on ponytail. Yeah, that it looked like was... dances with wolves. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh wow! You have the Daniel Day Lewis going. Shouts on. out to yeah. that movie, by the way, with Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, Tatanka. 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 Yeah, Tatanka. Hey, come on! The new band <laughs> yeah. from Chappelle Lacey. This is side T quick side note. I, I was uh, when I didn't have a car yet, and I was living here, and I was still going. Whenever I wanted to go back home to Arizona, I would catch like this bus called Flix Bus. Yeah, oh, yeah. And uh, they uh, they have like they would play movies on there. Uh -huh. And one time they were playing Dances with Wolves, and normally I fall asleep. My ass was like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Man. I fucking love that. It's movie. a good storyline. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's fucking Daniel great. Daniel Lewis, he's amazing. Yeah, yeah. he's amazing. Okay, so uh, next question. Mm -hmm. First time Dag Nasty's been brought up, I think. Maybe yeah, second, that is the but... really. 
I think yeah. I might have on, on an earlier one. But Maybe. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I don't think like as far as someone's list, mm-hmm. I don't think anyone's brought up Dag Nasty or Descendants. Shout out to Field Day too. They're still oh, fucking I don't think, doing it. I don't yeah. think so. I don't think anyone's brought up Rush, Descendants, or mm-hmm. wow. um, okay for for their list. Maybe right. Descendants. Sed- yeah. Descendants. Mm-hmm. Don't fuck this up, Derek. Yeah. You got all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your favorite song to play in the car? Ooh, Un carro. Un carro. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah. Come on! Hell yeah! Come on! Listen to that! <laughs> this ah! just gets me pumped. <laughs> oh, Bad God. brains. So like yeah. you were Anyone saying, no, we're oh sorry, sorry. Them hanging. <laughs> sorry. But like you said, like when I first heard Bad Brains, and I was like, they're black. Yeah. And I yeah. was like, yeah. I was like, here yeah. we go. I was like, I can do this. Yeah. You know, yes. Like I was really. I felt the same way because it was just. It was perceived as such a white thing, you know, right. like in my neighborhood, it's, oh, you're into that white boy shit, blah, blah, blah. Me too. And we've talked about how, <laughs> how that's how powerful that the, the white world is, that they took something from black people, made it theirs, and now if black people like it, you're white. Yeah, yeah, it's like, <laughs> but hey, man. doesn't check out. You know where we started? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it was insane because, again, I had that a lot, too, you know, from people like, oh, you listen to that white music. Yeah. And they were like, and it's devil music. And I was yeah. like, what? I don't I know. know. I like how it was always devil music. Yeah, I was like, I'm where, like, where does the this devil come from? in it? <laughs> Meanwhile, they're, like, they're singing about fucking God and, you know. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's no region black metal. That's like strictly satanic music. But it's got black in the title, so. Yeah. Why oh. you say black like that? <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> you know why. But man, listen, bad brains. Uh, you, no, I mean, it changed I the go game for me. It changed. You had such a unique voice, man. It was like game everything about it. Dead so Kennedys. Many it was like people. Just different. Fucking. Thing. It had el- every element that I I loved about hardcore and punk rock. You know, it had the element of like incredible lyrics. You know, the energy on stage like no other. Yep. You know, the diversity and and their their ability to write and the, to write and also their ability to play. Yeah. They were different from other punk bands and hardcore bands because they had a life before doing that style of music. Yeah. So they were yeah. very, you know, they were incredible musicians. They were like the, jazz musicians right. before, yeah. yeah. And so it just I don't know, it just amplified, you know, amplified what they were doing. You yeah. know, it just made it so real and believable. Mm-hmm. You know, and a lot of the things that we're writing about, you know, I could relate to. And I was just like, man, this is, I, I love this, you know? Yeah. I, and I just was drawn immediately to it. And there's certain bands that exist that are like one, a once in a lifetime bands. Right. Yeah. And I feel like bad brains is one of those. Uh, yeah. Like, like your Ramones, like you're going to get another Ramones. No, you no. know what I mean? Right. Like you're going to get, you're going to get another, like you're going to fuck another Shh. that. No. Think about that. I mean, think about that. It was such a great, I mean, it also seemed like a scene unifier at the time, too. Yeah. You know, it was just like so many people from different walks of life, DC, like, oh, you New like York. this, too? You know, like, yeah, yeah you know, for sure. So it was great to see that diversity in the scene and at yeah. shows. You throw on big takeover, I can run through a wall. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. It just, right. I know. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, yeah. The Kool Aid man, dude. I'll I know. Fucking, I will <laughs> eat a brick, dude. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Yep. Can we play Big Takeover? <laughs> what the fuck? And do the live live at CBGB. Oh, in in them li- like that live. was the thing. The records and live. When I saw this fucking video, live. I was like, oh my god. Yep. Yeah. I want to hang from the ceiling, dude. Yep. Oh, oh to yeah. be there would have been. I'll eat my own arm for this. A <laughs> top one. <laughs> yeah, they're already yeah. going. Like before they even start, people are fucking. Oh, I know it's because right, yeah. just, they know. Yeah. Look, look at that, that dude. <laughs> that dude. Fucking yes. count, uh, bebop and rock steady from yeah. fucking Ninja, know, Ninja Turtles. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, HR just tapping the ground like yeah, pulling Shh. power from the earth. I know. You know, like God, his, the way he dressed, too, yeah, man, the way that he, yeah, the style, the style so, was fucking. amazing. I also love that that white girl in the flannel. She's fucking going yeah. off. Yeah, but like, do you see the diversity at the show. Yes. You know, it's. Everybody from every Ooh, walk of everybody. life. Ooh, every Wrigley. walk of life. I'm about to yeah. pull your teeth out with my pinky toe. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah. There's There's another show show one. One. I nobody want to be clean. Just another, another Nazi, Nazi skate. skate. Yeah. yeah. Big takeover. Yeah. Yeah, look at the youth like culture. You're right. Like everybody's right. sitting there together. There's an Asian girl, a black yeah. girl, a white right. girl. So oh, I, will, I will say this. One current band that's been able to do that, 
turnstile. Turnstile. Yeah, yeah. For sure. True. Where you see every walk of life yeah. at their shows. Yeah. And Bad They've Brains, of course, is a massive influence. Oh, uh, yeah, 1,000%. I, mean, I, got to, I got to see Bad Brains open for Slightly Stupid, and I got I got to go into the pit for Sailing On. Oh. oh yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. they hit the reggae section of the set, which was 95%. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they played a couple <laughs> fucking bangers. It was awesome, dude. There's, <laughs> I love this. There's this one video of uh, them playing Attitude where uh, – HR doesn't even like sing the first. He just jumps into the. He like flies into the crowd. Yeah. Type in Bad Brains Attitude Live. It's a. It, it'll be. And a he was doing them flips too. Yeah. Oh, he's doing the flip like everything. That's what I'm saying. Like, fucking, they're, they're once in a lifetime band. Scroll a little bit. I want to say yeah, right there, right there, right there. Oh, <laughs> Watch <you>. it. <laughs> Watch HR just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so dope. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, I couldn't even pull that off. I mean, a hundred and eighty percent, dude. Yeah, eighty percent. But that was like, you know, I idolized that, you know, this band and everything, and I yeah. was just like, man, if I do a band, I, I you know, I want to have that energy, stage presence, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we talk about that a lot, why we love the genre of, of punk and hardcore is because it's like when people say you can't play fighting. Like, you can't you can't pretend right. this music. You, you literally no. have to engage. Fucking, <laughs> look at that, dude. Amazing, dude. He's possessed. Yeah, yeah. It's the spirit, dude. It's fucking oh, incredible. You're so wrapped up in it. Yeah. Nothing not, else matters. Dude. Nothing. Yeah, not, you're, you're not thinking about anything. Right. And, probably, this, and, and I thought there was these similarities with going to church that I had to go to oh, wow. and that was the one thing that I really loved about the, the main thing that I loved about going to church was seeing the band play live there was a band at yeah. my church Some of the and then musicians. people just kind of like lose their mind like where it's just like yeah. whoa they get it you know they get oh. the holy ghost in them yeah. Yeah. but I was just like they don't care you know it's the moment that feeling you yeah. know and that and I was like wow there's a lot of similarities yep. yeah it's definitely a religious experiment right. uh, experience <laughs> it's like it's yeah, yeah. Man, you're just coded by it yeah and, yeah I you was know, talking about the first time I saw Turnstile when I, when I, fucking I was just I just felt it. I, said, I told Toby I said hold my hat. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen I him yet. Say, and, and, I thought you were gonna I, say hold my hand. No no <laughs> I, I, said, I said hold my hat. I gotta get in there. I gotta get in there. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? Like I, and I just fucking yeah. It pulled you. It it's like pulled a, me. Yeah man, I, that's awesome. And that's dude. the one thing I really love about this style of music. You know yeah. that it pulls people mm -hmm. to move physically. You know mm -hmm. in a way that. You know, it's just like you don't care about what's yeah. going on around you. Just, and it's so inviting. Yeah. It's so inviting, you know. Mm -hmm. All Even right. though it's not. It's like, it's crazy, right? Like you're jumping into fire. Yeah. And the fire looks good. True, true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, like I guess the energy and the that spirituality makes it feel inviting. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Right. Yeah. It's, you know what I mean? Where almost, you're yeah. just like. It, like like I said, it pulls you, you know. It gives you a suit of armor, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. yeah, that's no awesome, man. That. Uh okay, best live music you've ever seen. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. Hell yeah. So yeah. what yeah, what who was it? Rush? Rush what is this? Yeah, it was Rush. Oh, you saw Rush live? Yes. Oh, Where did you so see the him? first time I saw him was like many years later in Brazil, actually. Oh. And it was their first time ever playing Brazil Come in their on, entire now. career. And I didn't understand that because they have massive fans in Brazil, you know. Yeah. And so they were playing a stadium with like sixty thousand people, Man, that's and fucking crazy. And we somehow got to meet them. And my bass player is a massive Rush fan, like fanatical. Yeah. And so we were there, you know, for the filming and everything. And they put us in their filming oh, of yeah. Rio. So um, they did a documentary, or no, yeah. they they have a DVD on this. Yes, I've watched this concert. Right? Do they have like the washer and dryer up there? Yes. Yep. yep. Right. I've watched I just this googled what uh, symbols he he played. That's why I was. But on there's like a small room. version or Save part you. in the DVD I, I watched it so long ago where we're there, and I'm like, just. Well, you were at this. Yeah, the one the show in Sao Paulo. Wow! And they, and they and they have a little thing like oh, a simple tour here, like watch. And I was like, oh my god! Oh wow! But like watching it, I I, I freaked out like. They were Dude, like the crowd's going insane. They, they were singing yeah. the melodies of the guitar. Like, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's awesome. Look at that. That's so Brazilian <laughs> yeah. too, right? Look at, I mean, Dude, I'm getting hyped. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, it was oh goosebumps. My God. <laughs> and they were and they played I feel like I'm there. the thing about the show, they played the best set list 
I could possibly oh. imagine. Because they've never been there, so they're playing everything. Oh, my Three God. hours. Dude, Dude people were, I mean, my bass, bass player cried for 30 minutes after wow. meeting him. Oh, He wow. couldn't stop. I mean, it was emotional. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they were this phenomenal. This is fucking crazy. It was crazy. Bro, I just got, I just got like. Dude. I was like, am, it, I, am I there right now? I mean, they sounded incredible. Yeah, the DVD, or sorry, the, uh, this concert was on Netflix for like a while. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, you know, I never got into Rush. I, I love Neil Peart. I've seen the clips, all right. that, but that's a band I haven't really dived, dove into, you I know? Mean, I mean, is there is there an album you would say is a good, like, first? I mean, Moving Pictures Moving is pictures, definitely okay. the first, but then, I mean, they go, they're all so different, the albums. I mean, if you're, like, straight up rock, the very first one, it's cool. not even Neil Peart. Playing, oh believe. wow! Yeah, yeah, no. So they, they oh, had a different, they, they had, had a different, different they, have a, drummer. they have a really cool doc. Okay, uh, maybe so, I'll yeah. watch that. And then, yeah, yeah, because that, I mean, that's the straight up like you know seventies yeah. rock, which yeah, is yeah, yeah. pretty super, good. Yeah, super seventies, super rock. seven. Then cool. Fly by Night is mm-hmm. the when Neil. But, I, 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 but the original drummer, I don't think he was in the band that long. No, I think it was like a few years. Yeah, the prog stuff always felt a little bit like uh, so untouchable skill wise mm-hmm. that it kind of I got turned off to it. I wanted simple. But I like Tool, and that's probably uh, absolutely like derived from the Rush thing, like yeah. the weird time signature. I think like stuff, any but... album, if you go back from Moving Pictures back, it's Backwards. just incredible. Cool, like okay. you can't mess with any of that stuff. It's Great. Just, woo. Yeah, I would love to because I mean, I but I, that I live, I mean, them playing live, it sound. I mean, they're just incredible musicians. Yeah. I yeah. just had so much respect their sound. And that energy of the crowd. So I was just like, yeah. this is the best concert I've yeah. ever been to. Like, and, and it was just, and they were just so grateful and so down to earth. Fuck and, yeah. you know, it was, and they were just so kind with us, you know, like backstage, they wrote like tour book for each of us with signed it individually, with like different sayings on the cool. inside of the book. Wow. Yeah. You know, and they're just, it, it just moved me. I was just Taking like, the wow. Time. Do wow. you feel like you, uh, you took something from that now when you meet fans like oh, absolutely fans, for right? sure I, I realize that it means a lot and, and and I try to take that in consideration even if I'm tired and yeah you know there's something going on in my own life you know I realize like ah oh, this is a moment for yeah. you know fans yeah, for, yeah it might never happen you know whatever people big artists have said like they sign every autograph because one day somebody won't want it anymore and they you know they want to <laughs> like take that in but yeah take yeah. that in yeah yeah that's why, like, I always take a picture with somebody or yeah, anything same. like that. And, yeah, You know, that, it's like, yeah, like, it's, the, it's the least. And I'm know, grateful anybody gives a do. fuck yeah, the about fact anything that you even I'm get, doing. The fact that you even <laughs> want a picture with me is, like, fucking yeah. insane. We got a liquor over here. Yeah. R- Wrigley, stop. <laughs> Come it's, on, Wrigley. It's actually liquor. Take it down okay. there. <laughs> <laughs> Wrigley, go lay, go lay down. Go. Wrigley's, you need to chill. You got to lay down. Lay okay. down, Wrigley's. All right, lay down. Good boy. <laughs> Wrigley, oh, no, okay. you know what it is. Needy I know. ass. I know. Wrigley just likes hearing the name Wrigley. Yeah. Wrigley's. Right. Heck yeah. <laughs> I like that in plural. Oh, Wrigley, okay. stop. Okay. All right, all right. All right. All right. I'm Man. Gonna you. I'm gonna <laughs> so did you lived in Brazil for a while? I did for like 20 years. Did you ever see like any gnarly shit? Like, uh, I, I have. Yeah, yeah, has, he seen, yeah. you, has he seen any gnarly shit? Because I remember this skateboarder I was reading, he said he was went to Brazil and he, he lived there for a while and he's like, you just got to out gnarly like the criminal. So like one time Ooh. a guy like reached into his car, he's like, I grabbed the dude's arm and I fucking like, you have to, he like Whoa. punched it to like, you got to fucking show him you're not yeah. afraid and you almost got to take it. Further. I'm not. Oh no, no, me. I'm completely opposite. Like, here you go, sir. Yeah. What else would you like? Same. Would you like fries with that or yeah. something? Yeah, right. Because yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I could definitely talk about gnarly stuff, but I can talk about gnarly stuff anywhere, anywhere. in the yeah, world. Sure. I mean, yeah, I hate he also to bring lived, it down. He also lived in New York. Uh, yeah, yeah, I lived in sure. New York, and, and, and I saw and a lot New of York gnarly stuff. The, I guess troubles what, anywhere you can find it. You this know? is true. New York yeah. in the '90s. In the '90s. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. But I mean. You know, I mean, it's an incredible place. I lived in Sao Paulo, so there's over 20 million people living Man, there. So there's shit. bound to be, you know, craziness yeah, it's just popping off. But I mean, it was mostly positive stuff. I mean, anywhere you go outside of the bigger cities, you don't have so much craziness. I think a lot of times you see that in media or for with sure. like certain movies, That's how I feel they about portray with LA. the stereotypes. You feel that with Mexico too. People are like, you terrified. think? I yeah. mean, the stereotypes are revved up. Mm-hmm. But I mean, there is some truth to some of the things that do happen there. For but, sure. I mean, there are things that happen there where I lost uh, like a wallet, and I was like, oh man, it's gone forever, you know, in Brazil. And then a few days later, just like online, this dude's like, like, hey, I think I found your wallet. Like, wow. t- tweet at me. 
Nice. Billy, and I was like, what are you talking about? It's like, well, I left at the diner that you usually go to. And I was like, are you kidding me? And then I went up to the diner and I got there and there was like everything in the wall. Wow. And, you know, wow. and Extra like, money. No. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, that's insane. You know, I would never, you yeah. know, like the, it was really like, the one country where I felt that people were genuinely nice, yeah, you know, it was just it's just part of their their culture, their mm-hmm. nature to be inviting towards people who aren't from Brazil, mm-hmm. and that's what a lot of people I don't think know who have never been to Brazil how friendly people are and how yeah. they really like tourists or people yeah, that cool. aren't from there. They like to show their country and they're proud of it. Oh yeah, and so this is something that's really amazing, you know, no matter where you're from. You know, because Brazil is a mix of so many different cultures. Yeah. And so you fit in no matter, you know, all of us could do- go there and be like, oh, we're all Brazilian. Yeah, we would probably sure. think Chappelle and I are maybe from the north yeah. of Brazil where there's a larger black population. They would think that you're in the maybe the middle. They'd be mm-hmm. like, oh, he's a mulatto. He's, yeah. you know, everyone's mixed there. So, yeah. wow. Um, you know, anybody could be Brazilian. You could be Asian and be Brazilian as well. Yeah. The largest Japanese population outside of Japan wow. living in Sao Paulo. So it's 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 really a diverse place with a lot of things happening. But I definitely, you know, the bigger cities is where a lot of crazier things are going to happen just yeah. because it's anywhere I there's think, poverty oh, and, things and like poverty that. and overpopulation. Yeah. You know, it doesn't. The, Brazil <laughs> is a calls. massive place like any big city where it's overpopulated. Yeah. There tends to be a lot more problems are yeah. kicking. It's off. hot. It's hot. Uh, yeah. People get irritated, you know, traffic. That and, that World Cup team grabbed me in high school, like the uh, Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Cafu. So I remember yeah. I, I'd, I'd always there have a, Bra- a Brazil know, jersey. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would rock a Brazil jersey for years. Like, I still have Muito one, bom. yeah. But uh, I am I've always wanted to I'll go there someday. <laughs> You'll love it, man. Bro, I, you know, you know, he straight up like just learned Portuguese, like just going with the flow. How's your bet, Portuguese, yeah, man? Just be, uh, you know, sh- uh, do uh, you speak Spanish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Habla but, poquito español. Sí, sí, vale, sí, vale. Un poquito, but so, so, so Portuguese, I'll like understand it for a little bit. Some words sound right. like Spanish, and then they just go left, and it sounds like French and fucking Spanish and yeah. all this. It's wild. It's funny I, because I only, I only mean, know two words. With the bon. With the bon. I probably learned Portuguese from like Sepultura and things like that. You yeah, know, the it's most, funny because yeah. you know if you're speaking Portuguese, a lot of people who are uh, who are speaking Spanish can't understand so mm-hmm. much. But Brazilians and people who are speaking Portuguese can understand Spanish. Yeah, it's just the speaking part. Yeah, a, a lot of times, so they speak like Portuñol, they call it. Ah, wow. So they add like a Spanish accent. Okay, on, funny. while speaking Portuguese, yeah. <laughs> and it kind of works. I would sometimes. say with Portuguese, it sounds like they're singing some of the words. Ah, or they, like it's like see, like I don't yeah, know. Real, like, yeah, there's smooth. a flow. Like, yeah, like there's a flow. I think there's a flow with a lot of languages, most languages, but mm-hmm. there's definitely yeah. a rhythm with the Brazilian mm-hmm. language or the Portuguese. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Portuguese. Uh, uh, it's always interesting asking lead singers this, but what is your go-to karaoke song? Oh Lord! Would you? I put? mean, I can't. What the, <laughs> <laughs> the Doors, "L.A. Woman," or "Riders on the Storm." Hey, we played. I, I, we played the video of you doing I, it. Yeah. Did we I play heard, this, Mike? I heard. Yeah. So, uh, "Riders on the Storm," dude. So, I, I don't even know. If, Many people know this about me, but I'm actually a big Doors geek. Really? Love the Doors. I, it's funny because I don't like the Doors that much. I don't oh, either. <laughs> but I like so, I, eight I, songs I love... a lot. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm fanatic. And they're very important yeah. songs. You don't, like, yeah. you don't like the Doors like that? No, you know, I, I kind of like, I got all the, like, cool stoner girls in my high school were, like, love Jim Morrison. I guess it's different for you, yeah. And then you would, you would, um... You just hear these stories about Jim Morrison yeah. that he was not really like the poet, and then some of the right. lyrics you like dissect them. And you're like a dog without a bone, like I, yeah. and I'm like, eh, it's like not the greatest. Dog without and a bone, and a bone <laughs> with <laughs> a dog, a dog, <laughs> and a bone. I'm like, all right, you're not a poet, but but of course they're so important. They're very talented yeah. in that. Have they I, done the midnight special? No. No, oh, they they, the, they might have been already done. They did the 3 a.m. Yeah. special, dude. <laughs> it was that? a wild, wild band. That's where you wild got out. Moments. Wild band. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Some of the members I, did afterwards. Part of different bands and yeah, different yeah, performances, but it wasn't Jim. When I it go, was John Dismore and Robbie Krieger. Yeah, I think they might have played with Stuart Copeland Jesus. at some point. In the band, <laughs> so but, uh, unprofessional. No, you good. <laughs> well, every time I go to the whiskey, I I feel the history of right. that, and I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah. the Doors used to. Jim Morrison used to piss over there. First of all, the Doors biopic with Falcon. Oh, great! Is fucking yeah. amazing. Yeah. 
fucking amazing. You <laughs> they, know me, Val. I love Val Kilmer. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of your personality goes around things Val Kilmer has been in. Who me? Yeah. <laughs> How you figure? Yeah. Really? I'm just happy you even don't Batman? fly planes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Ice Man over Batman here. <laughs> you got Come some on. rubber yeah, nipples. Yeah, of course. Right. Wow. Wow. All right. He honestly didn't like doing the Batman role. I can tell. Because he... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I will always love that Batman. That's my number one. Uh, Stop. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, but he's great in the heat. Um, the I, heat. Just, All right. <laughs> uh, so... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what else? Was I saying, wait, what was I saying about... How you love Tombstone. Wait, yeah, how, yeah, how, yeah, how you figure that? You love everything, Val. Because yeah, you're around Tombstone, him. Doors. Yeah, doors. there's there's been a lot of Sultan, Val Kilmer references oh no, <laughs> over Sultan time. Sea, what's he in that? Salt and Sea. Salt and Sea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the, well, there's another really good one where he plays like multiple, like he's like a multiplicity. Oh like no, no, uh, the uh, saint. The saint. I love the saint. Uh, the saint. See, it's, okay. it's, it takes like that that you're a Val Kilmer fan. You're not a. <laughs> <laughs> You guys didn't like the Saint? No. I don't think, I don't think he seen. liked it either. I, I <laughs> hey, the Saint was great. I mean, I like the TV series. All the characters. You yeah. know that came from a TV series. Yeah, I know. Game you know, yeah, that, like, right? yeah. you know <laughs> Yo, did you, ever, did you ever see him play Mark Twain? That was Val yes, Kilmer, right? I yeah. saw him do it live. Fuck, wow. that's awesome. Yeah, bro. The posters were so sick Man, from that. Hold on. I'm going to send Mike another thing. Hey, how about this? I believe you. Yeah, no, I no, totally no, believe no. you. No, y'all, y'all don't believe me at all. Bro. Yeah, I do. No, I get it. I get it. No, I'm showing y'all. That's cool. Yeah, slow down the whole podcast. No, nah, man, we're going to talk about this, bro. Are we going to do a Val Kilmer episode? Hey, Val Kilmer I said died. Val Kilmer. You're like, I know Val Kilmer. Yeah, hey, Val Kilmer. <laughs> yeah, Valhalla. Val Kilmer is incredible. Hey, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer yeah. kills it. That's like that Key and Peele sketch when they were valets. They kept saying, uh-huh. Liam Neeson's. <laughs> <laughs> they kept calling him. They were like, Liam Neeson's. <laughs> Was he in the island of Dr. Moreau? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. That was probably so my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I couldn't oh, stop God. laughing. <laughs> he's so also good. in, I know, uh-huh. Liam Neeson's, uh, he's also in uh, Deja, Deja Vu. He's in Deja Vu as well with really? Denzel. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Is that you and him? Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. No way. Yep, that's when he, I went and watched his Mark Twain uh, performance. Uh, th- this is like like because he had that surgery on the throat or whatever. See, yeah. So yeah. yeah, like I don't think he has a trachea, but um, and he, dude, he's a funny guy. He had us cracking up and like he lets people ask questions. Man, awesome and stuff that like that. So cool. I know. I had no idea. Yeah, I wanted to see. Look that at me, look like a I fucking dork. <laughs> I didn't know you knew him like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. You could have at dog, least squatted the, down, dog. Yeah, right. I was the only black person in that bitch. I believe it. <laughs> It made him feel cool you were there. Yeah, yeah right. For sure. He was like, I was like, dude, I loved you in The Saint. I loved you. He was like, really? You like The Saint? Dude, <laughs> you like this? The Batman movie? Come on, man. I mean, like. This oh, wow. Like, uh, security? I feel like a lot of. Right? <laughs> I feel like a lot of his films here were like the fourth and fifth picture of like five picture deals where yeah. he's like, gotta get yeah. that one done. Mm, right, right. Oh, God. But I, so I honestly, funny. I do. I do like him. Yeah. I love I love him a lot. Yeah. Um, anyways, he didn't like doing the Batman role because he says because he went to Juilliard. Obviously, right. he, goes, he, he goes. You feel weird because you're doing all like you're like green screen all this shit and like the, he just didn't like yeah. acting in that way. Like when it, it was like all a, new, it was yeah, really hard. It feels to, like you're yeah. like not an actor. He said almost it, was, it, feel, it almost feels like you're like playing a game. Mm-hmm. Huh. He explained. I watched the doc on it. He, he has a doc out that is pretty emo. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, anyways, uh, let's go to, yeah, let's go back to Derek. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, what's the go. song that Derek oh, feels, no, you're never or uh, the song Most that Derek plays know. when he feels I've sad. never come across anyone that even recognizes this song. What's the song? What is this? Jackson Brown? Yeah. You like Jackson Browns? <laughs> yeah, I love me some Jackson Browns. Jackson Browns? <laughs> Jackson what, Brown. uh, love, l- Late for the Sky? Mm-hmm. Is that what it says? Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you know this song, Mike? No. Oh, you don't? Oh, I thought you knew Jackson Browns. Evidence has a song called Late for the Sky. Late I wonder the if sky? they sampled this. Is it, I don't it, know. It's like, ooh. Sad. I mean, it's a sad one. It's what sad. a great album. Yeah. 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 Ooh. <laughs> and then it just goes oh, off. Come and, it's on. Just like, and then it's just like shaking yeah. tears, like yeah, fuck quivering this. lip. First time I heard this song, I was watching the first time I ever watched Taxi Driver. Uh, it's the scene where 
uh, Al Pacino, no Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro is sitting <laughs> in the chair and he's watching the TV in his apartment and he's frustrated and, the, and, and he's watching American Bandstand. Oh, uh, God. And this is the song that's wow, on Wow, okay, yeah, I don't remember that. Why, did he want to be a musician or something? It was a, never it was a kid. politician. You've never seen Taxi Drive? No. Oh, uh, dude. What? Is it Chappelle. fucked up? No, he'll only watch the same five movies. I know, right? Don't oh, get no, me no, started. No, with you. <laughs> Ch- Chappelle. Well, Have y'all seen The Saint? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all seen Tombstone? <laughs> the movie is... I've watched it a million times, and so re-watching it now, I was like, damn, there's some, like... Crazy well, things being said in this. Yeah, you did <laughs> see Joker, so you have seen Taxi Driver. Oh, really? Yeah. The yes. jo- Joker's very like pulled from that. Even the color palettes, everything, you know, the city. Really? Oh, and yeah. it's based out of New York. It's yeah. based in New York and it's based on a character, Travis Bickle, who's Oh, it's a real person? Yeah. Rancid had a song about him. It's not based on a real person, but oh, it's based it. about just uh being fed up. Damn. And and, a, and kind of a psychopath. Yeah. And, wow. And it just goes into you know his whole mindset, you know, through his narration of what's happening, how he it's it's a, one of the best films I've yeah. ever That's seen. That's right. You're talking, talking to me. You're but the song is like in one Yo, of you talking to me. Oh, yeah. got it. Yeah. And 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 that scene in the in the movie, it's like really kind of like the breaking point, you know, where it's just mm. he's bumming, you know, he's he can't get anything right. You know, it just seems like his life is. And so this this song is part of part of a scene where he's like, is he like fed up or something in the he's, scene? He's pretty fed up, but he's just getting really emo, like inside of his own mind. And then he just ends up kind of like breaking the TV at the end where it just tips over. And it's just like, ah, and he's yeah. he's trying to make these changes in this life. And he's trying to also win the heart of a woman who is Sybil Shepherd at the time. And she's gorgeous. Damn. In that. And uh, you have to see that <laughs> i just can't i mean and, and even uh you ever seen it? angus <laughs> come on come on man i'm just kidding no, i'm just kidding anguish uh, anguish uh wait and martin, so, Scors- see, martin, martin scorsese see, uh, is in yeah. it, and his part it's like yo can oh, i, I gotta see it you see, you you see what it says. Yeah, okay. his part it's like mm. okay okay <laughs> i wanted to see a live version of that song of Jackson Browns. Here is a man oh, live, who would not it. take it anymore. Oh, yeah. Because I bet he kills this live. I can only imagine. I've never seen. I'm going to add an S to live. everyone's name now. Jackson's? Ooh, Jackson's. I do it all. Jack- Jackson's Browns. <laughs> Jackson Browns? I love Damn, me some Jackson Browns. Oh, shit. This, this looks like Austin City Limits. Oh, word? Yeah, I think it is. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's. <sighs> uh-oh. We about to get mad emo in this bitch. Yeah, beautiful card. Uh, Choice, man. Don't fuck me up. Look at that. Wow. Jackson Brown is white. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Who that'd is be, this? <laughs> <laughs> that'd be so funny if Derek didn't know. That. I was like, yeah. are you? Wait hey, a man, minute. You talking about I Jackson Brown? I thought because he was late. <laughs> I mean, back in the day, you didn't have internet and stuff. Yeah. So you, unless you bought the album. Remember when you photos. saw radio DJs for the first time? You're like, that's what they look like? <laughs> I remember a lot of people in my school, they were like, BC boys are white? Who are these white boys? Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. Q Drums. That's uh, uh, some of the Orange County Ooh. percussion builders started that company. Yeah. Oh, fuck out of here. He's ripping this bitch. Did he ever do Midnight Special? No? No, oh, his voice sounds on point. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. Such an empty surprise. Such an empty surprise. Ooh. Uh uh-uh. uh. Bro, he looks like he about to cry during this song. You gotta see yeah, American. I can't do that you gotta one. see American. It's American Bandstand. I think it's the show Ooh. that he's watching. A show from the seventies, Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> It was very it, big back in the day. American Bandstand. Band you would see like new <laughs> artists would come on. It was kind of before the MTV thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, you have people dancing on it, mm-hmm. and then you have the live artists. Yeah, yeah I know. Come is, uh, is that uh, something Clark? Dick yeah, Clark. Dick Clark, man. Dick Clark. Come on, man. Yeah, so, I was like, something was his name? Dick Clark's. Dick Clark's. Yeah, I love Dick Clark's. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Clark's sounding. He does the ball drop in yeah. New York. Yeah. Whoa, man. His name's Dick Clark. He's doing a ball drop. <laughs> I, I ain't going. <laughs> Oh god! I'm not there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. So let's see what Hi. the song that reminds Derek Green of love 
And Derek Green chose Shot A, Kiss of Life. Girl. Girl. Mm. Hell Damn. Yeah. Don't fucking oh do my. it. This video. No, someone's getting pregnant tonight. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Damn. Okay. Woo. Has someone brought up Shot A before? Yeah, we've shown this. I think we showed this video. We did. Who yeah. brought it up? I don't remember. Oh, Toby. Okay. And I'm Opie sure brought yeah. up the uh, Neptune's remake, or nerd remake. Oh, Opie, Opie, Opie brought Yeah, up. and then yeah. we might have pulled this up. Yeah, she's I'm gorgeous. Do- she's gorgeous. She always will be. She's the diva. Bruh. You heard Shot A villain? It's the MF Doom. They took Shot A song, and they made the beats, and then MF Doom's on it. No. Yeah, look uh, it up. Shot A villain. It's uh, like it's free check online. That out. I gotta check that out. Man, <laughs> Bruh. she is amazing. She's incredible. Bruh, I'll date her right now. Help. How old is she? Prove it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Timeless. Timeless. Right? Yeah. Man. Oh. Oh, man. She, I, have you seen, like, oh, her yeah. live, like, people are just, she doesn't uh, have to move. You know, they might, move. you know, and it's like, people yeah. are just like, oh, just like, God. yeah, melting in their a, fucking a presence, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bruh. I gotta holler at her. I'm gonna hit up Sade. All right. Okay, <laughs> okay, Chappelle. I'm gonna shoot my shot. You don't know it she got Instagram? I don't know if she's on the ground, but... Shawty got Instagrams? You can <laughs> fast forward grams. like a little tiny bit. Yeah, let's... Mm. Yeah, uh, girl. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. That's why I saw. Mm. <laughs> Turn me up. Yeah. yeah. We about to make love. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. Uh. Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Uh-huh. Oh, don't do it to me. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're both British. Oh, wow. Yeah, you didn't catch that part. I, I did not catch that. That's Why right. are you angry? <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> Ooh. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Why did you bring this up when Opie was here? Why would? What? Huh? Yeah. Oh, he just dips in and out. I know, No, right? no, they play. I oh, think we okay. just fast forwarded too far. Yeah, yeah no. It's all good. Time they come out in years. So fucking dope! Wow, yeah, the whole album is great. Yeah, that sounds so uh, sick. I, I'm, 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 get, I'm downloading this. I know. Ooh, is that a thing? Still download stuff? I think so. Yeah, yeah. 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 Still download. <laughs> download, upload. <laughs> My man has a Childish Gambino mixtape on his phone. Which like it's only. The audio file, right? You can't find it anywhere else, can you? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, my man got it on his phone. He got it. He got it when it originally came out. Damn. Damn. Childish Gambinos. Childish. <laughs> I love me Childish Gambinos. Childish, Childish Gambinos. This is America's. Mm-hmm. Okay. That Poindexter. Poindexter. That's the one you have. Poindexters. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next question. Bro, I love love. Mm. Oh, I love Ooh, okay, I'm ready day. for this one. Okay, I think I might have a guess. I, I, I think you. Might I think know. I might have. I think Annie I might, up. <laughs> no, no. I think I might have. I, I'm. A, we'll, we'll, we'll see it, and then if okay. I'm right, I'll I'll let you know. Oh no, you gotta predict it till we believe you. Yeah, yeah. Shoot Say your it. shot, because then you'll be like, Yo, I knew it. I knew it. It's got to be a Chromax song. Ah, mm. oh, damn it. I know. It's All right. Be a shocker to you. So, favorite workout slash hype song. Derek Green chose. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, Pantera. Pantera. It's, it's controversial. Bro, uh, oh. Shedding skin. Ah. First of all, this record. This record. I'm sorry, I know. They were a talented <laughs> fucking band. The lyrics are so hype. The lyrics are incredible. That guitar with the kick oh, cracking yeah. is amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, this gets a me lot of, a so lot of people, hyped a lot of people, in the gym. A lot of people try these riffs in like hardcore, like or like yeah, you, yeah. You, you could um, hear like the um, what influence? What's that? Oh, it's another video playing. Oh, I'm gonna say like, what the fuck am I hearing? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I it was worked. a remix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it worked. I gotta say, like when this album a, came out. Ooh, it's a different YouTube video. When, when the album came out, I was living in New York and. Uh, Everyone around me, like uh, the guys in like Siv and Sammy yeah. and a bunch of other like New York friends, we were working out and those guys were doing construction. Yeah. And I was doing like working at the clothing store. And they would just be like after work, like, let's work out. And yeah. this was 
like oh popping. you guys would work out to this yeah and we would yeah, work I was, out I was curious how did the New York peeps like East Coast peeps feel about Pantera we, we loved it when that I yeah. mean Cowboys for Hell wasn't my thing and I actually saw them on tour and then I was like this sucks and, oh, I, and yeah. it wasn't I just wasn't really into it I just, it's it, different I just didn't, yeah it didn't I don't know I saw them open up for a band called Mind Over 4 uh-huh. which were like totally eclectic band crazy yeah and I love Mind Over 4. And I was like, mm, not feeling this Pantera stuff. Yeah. But then when this came out and Vulgar Display, I, I, it, it just took a different. It was a rap. Yeah. I was like, it had those hardcore elements. Yeah. yeah. The lyrics got better. Um, Just everything you just felt, You clicked. felt the fucking like. Oh, yeah. I mean, he shaved his head. Yeah, and, you feel you know, the I was tension. Just like, I was like, oh, man, this dude's ill. And, yeah. And, you know, they're getting, you know, it was amazing. And then actually getting to meet them. You know, it was like super incredible. You know, having yeah. the like Vinny and his and Dimebag at our show and just so Man. inviting. They were the, you know, the most open hearted people. You yeah. know, they were just like, come over, super supportive with everyone, their fans and with yeah. friends and family. You know, it was really just added, you know, icing on the cake. Like, I love this band so much. You know, oh, these guys yeah. are yeah. so cool. And, uh, and they just sound incredible. And you know, again, like one guitar, bass player, just. Yeah, it's just phenomenal, Dude, and there, and there, phenomenal. And like, and like uh, everything drives so strongly, even even with one guitar. Yes, they have that. Uh, they, I mean, they're, they're, phenomenal guitar they're, stuff. Yeah, their live album. It's I think it's. Uh, oh, when you hear live, three. it's even better yeah. because he's so soulful. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know he has those elements of the South, we yeah, Southern in, rock, yeah, Southern we type rock, in Pantera and, 101 proof. You can hear it in that in the yeah, shit in the skin. Absolutely, too, like, I mean, and just the beat, well, smooth. You know, I mean, Vinny. So you want it live? No, no, yeah, yeah it's a, li- it's a <laughs> yeah. live album. The owner of uh, the Scroll owner of hyenas up, like knew one, them, right and there. one time we were no, out down, there. Down low, sorry. And he invited us to Vinny's house yeah. for a Super Bowl. We couldn't go; we had to fly out oh, the next day. Man. But the fact that he invited, like, we he didn't know us, right? Listen know? to that, and it drives. Like you know, it's one guitar, but it's like it doesn't oh, yeah. feel like one guitar. Right. That tone is crazy. And to make a live album, you have to play, like, on point, right? Like, are they, are they potentially playing to, like, a click? I don't know. You don't know? Maybe in Vinny's headphones. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, got it. I mean, but dying. I mean. He's just an incredible guitarist. Incredible. He was incredible. Man. Incredible. Damn. Just, especially live, you know? It's yeah. just, like, tasty solos. Like, he just feels it, man. He just can play any of that i mean it's yeah. just like damn oh, man wait you guys Such have to open loss. for them um before i was in the band sepultura did a whole tour with them and ministry i believe was oh, on tour. Okay. and maybe even helmet was on the, cool it's like a, that line oh damn, yeah yeah but then we were supposed to do a tour with pantora uh pantora <laughs> Panturas and hey, Panturas <laughs> and Panturas came with Sepultras. Pangeas. A lot of people used to call yeah. Se- Sepultura Sepultras. Yeah, I Fucking, used to, before uh, I knew what it was. To- yeah. Toby does. And even Phil was like, yo, uh, I love that Sepultra. Yeah, the Sepultra. Yeah, Sepultra. <laughs> but uh, we were going to do a tour, and it was like Biohazard, Pantura, Pantera, yeah. Pantura, <laughs> Jesus. And uh, it was Tattoo the Earth in Europe. Oh wow! And then, oh, yeah, I remember and, and then 9/11 the happened, uh, and then uh, nobody was flying. Yeah, yeah they and then it. everything stopped. Yeah. Like everyone pulled out, afraid to fly. And I was like, literally, bags packed. I was like, this is gonna be oh, incredible! Oh, oh my god! Whoa. Like suitcase ready to go. Yeah. You know, I was like, wait. I was like, why are we pulling out? I was like, this is the best time to fly. Wait, yeah. were you, nobody's were, flying now. Yeah. I was were like, you it, living in Brazil at the time? I was time? in New York during 9/11. Yeah. Oh no, no, I was in Brazil during 9/11. But um, 9-11 had happened, and the tour was supposed to happen after 9-11. Were you guys not allowed to fly in Brazil? You could fly, but those guys scary, didn't want to fly. Yeah. They were like, everyone was terrified No, to I'm fly. talking about like when 9-11 happened, like, did flying stop over, over there too? Or just, no. It was just for us? Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I was curious. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I was in like eighth grade oh when that happened. God, so that's I, yeah. insane. And man. I had never been on a plane or anything before. Ninth oh. grade. Wow. I was a freshman in high school when 9-11 happened. 2001? Yeah. That's a trip. Oh, okay. So then, yeah, I wasn't I w- I was in eighth grade? No, I don't think so. I was in ninth grade because I remember going to school and being, like, terrified. Hey, he might wow. have been held back. Just let it you're go. You're right. You're right. They might have held <laughs> you back. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> They're not going to do that to me. <laughs> I tell you, especially since I graduated. Mm-hmm. Hello. Oh. You have to bring that up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. In record time. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. You know what? You talking all Shut that up. shit. You talking Shut all the that fuck shit. up. <laughs> At least I go graduated. Go taxi drivers. Hey, now, the next question. I know. Yeah, yeah don't go all Val Kilmer's uh, on me. I, 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 I believe I had some more questions yeah, here. Yeah, you do. Thank you. Thank you. Answers. <laughs> don't go Val Kilmer's on me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be your honeysuckles. Uh, what is he saying? Uh, Huckleberries. Yeah. Huckleberries. <laughs> it's actually Huckleberry, but I got your Huckleberries yeah. right here. Uh, uh, oh, your Desert Island album. Okay, let's oh, see what Derek yeah. Green's Desert I Island guess. album is. Wow, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. Oh wow, yeah. Electric Ladyland. <laughs> Damn, this, you can stick with this album. Hey, oh yeah, from yeah. beginning to the end, it's. It takes wow. you on a journey, man. It's it's spiritual, psychedelic, and rock. It's got all the elements, and I love Jimmy's voice. Yeah, I was talking about it with someone. Oh, I was talking about it with you yesterday. We were talking about Jimi Hendrix and just how, like, you know, you know, we have this weird thing in the states where we don't appreciate things immediately. Where it's like, you know, like he was someone that blew up outside outside of right. the states. And then the state, like, once he, like, blew up over, you know, then the state started to appreciate it. It's like, oh, yeah, that guy's one of us, mm-hmm. you know? But, like, meanwhile, like, he, he was, always had been a, like, fucking talented, yeah. you know, guitar player. But it's just so interesting how we do that yeah. in the U.S. with some of our bands sometimes. Or, like, I mean, I, I guess it, bands, I mean, the guys, like, in, I mean, they told me with Sepultura it was kind of that way as well. Like, oh, really? It, it wasn't as big uh, before touring when those guys started touring outside Brazil and becoming known in Europe and in the US and they came back to Brazil and then a lot more people were like oh my god yeah oh really this is you know damn this is our thing yeah so I, I didn't know that either oh you know, wow. I, I just assumed like it was instantly massive in, in Brazil the entire yeah time. Geezer Butler just did WTF with Mark Marin. oh shit he said he saw Hendrix twice that the first time it was great the second time he was tuning for 30 minutes <laughs> <laughs> that's funny Got and I bet he said it in the most like British oh, way oh yeah. <laughs> yeah very funny too yeah very funny yeah it's it's uh I don't know yeah it's interesting even like we were talking about like with hip hop like how all the hip hop artists like when hip hop first came about and how they were touring over like but that i mean this is very common with a lot of black artists in in america you know the recognition especially in jazz and blues yeah you know the recognition the big recognition came from overseas first that's why Uh, especially england rolling stones came over here to go to cadillac records or something like that there's like some document or movie called cadillac records Mm -hmm. where it talks about like rolling stones coming over here to learn from the black uh, musicians, yeah, and, and all the you know the blues and the jazz and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of crazy. It's, it's crazy. Like, it's messed up. You know? Yeah, like yeah, we, yeah, yeah. I mean, it would. I mean, this country probably would have been able to produce a hell of a lot more musicians and artists if it was supported by Americans. You know, not if they weren't thinking about race all the time. They're just thinking about the music itself. Yeah, you know, it, 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 I mean, so many things would have come out of here, but you have so many elements of music that come out of England that, you know, I go down the list of my favorites and it's just like, oh yeah, I'm from the UK. Oh yeah, yeah I'm from the UK. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm from the UK. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like Zeppelin, Sabbath, you know, like yeah. all these things, but their influences are coming from the US, you yeah. know, from blues and, and you know, and, and, they're that very jazz world. and they, 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 they say that. Yeah, yeah. They say it all the time. They they're say like, it all the time. But that stuff was not, it was super rebellious here, you mm-hmm. know, the, and, and it, it was just because of race. They're like, uh, uh-uh. uh, you yeah. know, a lot of things just weren't opened up or weren't happening. You're like, I won't have my kids listening to that. Yeah. You know, and, it, and unfortunately, we lost a lot of credibility because of this. And now hip hop is our biggest export. Right. And now England and those countries are finally finding their own voice. Right. Their own thing, the grime scene, all that stuff. Um, this all along the watchtowers on my list of covers that are better than the original. Mm. What do you say? All along the Watchtower, mm-hmm. it's a cover song. Did you know that? It's a cover song. Yeah, 
It's a cover song. It's, it's, a, like it's a cover song? Yeah, it's a Bob Dylan's song. Yeah, man. Oh, damn. Yeah. Come on, Michelle. But this, Bob Dylan's? Yeah. Bob Dylan's. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> BD's? BD's? <laughs> BD's. You talking about BD's, bro. Yeah. BD's. 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 Uh, okay, ooh, yeah, I'm curious to this. Oh, yeah, me too. I don't know. Oh, what wait, the wait. fuck? Oh, this next, this last, oh, last question of the evening, <laughs> baby. What is shark. Derek Green's? <laughs> do, 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 right? do, do. What is Derek Green's? I should have picked that guilty pleasure <laughs> song. Oh, it's not so bad, I don't think. But Johnny, only the young. <laughs> I do not know this. Oh, what? Journey, Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, you Johnny. Yeah, Johnny, don't stop believing. Johnny, believe in <laughs> That's so funny. Johnny. Yeah, what a great yeah, voice, yeah. man. It's... This is when I got introduced to white people. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, my, there's a whole new world. Yeah, what a journey. What yeah. a journey. Yeah. And they got some white songs. I was like, oh, I love this shit. I don't care. You're so no, funny. A phenomenal singer, man. Oh, yeah. It's hard to phenomenal. fuck with. <laughs> they had so many bangers back in there. I mean, they fuck had... yeah. I only like, like I only lit. like I only like one song by them. Shut up! I like the wheel in the sky song. Wheel in the, the sky, sky keeps on turning. turning. Oh fuck yeah! I don't know where I'll be oh, to. Shit. Yeah. No, he, Steve, dude, how could you not like his voice? Yeah, I like his yeah, voice. He's, yeah. What's his name? Steve. Did you Bear? see him at Steve the Pet? SF game? The Gi- the Giants oh, game. Yeah. He started singing it. It's he was amazing. in the stands. And uh, and everybody started Start like singing, singing it with him. He was like in the stands. Singing what song? Don't stop believing. I think. Oh, this this is my shit. Oh yeah. Woo! It's because of the guitar riff. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damn. Dude, he sings this live. Crazy. Know. You know his voice is incredible live. So Mike runs uh, an account for the uh, TV show, old TV show called The Midnight Special, and yeah. so he has all these like. He has archives. A, archives of all these amazing uh, uh, bands and like live, live footage. Yes, it's so amazing. So good. And the hook. Listen to that fucking yeah. ride. And it the just, hook. Yeah. yeah, the way it comes. It's just so the memorable. <laughs> they had Damn. Show, I mean, they had a pinball machine, for God's sake. So wow. it was back in the day. And, and oh, they had so many, so many hits. Yeah. Yeah, will you find him at the Giants game, please, Mike? Oh my God, that's so. It's just so fun because it's incredible. also like. What's the Giants? The the baseball team. And San Francisco. Is that where he's from? Giants is. The I Giants thought they were a Detroit band. Right here, check it out. I don't, I don't know, but he's a fan. So. He's a fan of uh, the Giants. But this was so cool because I just like that he. A microphone? This, no, yeah, no, he just stands up. He's like, "Yo, they're playing my jam." Yeah. But I feel Look like that. people that take Shh. themselves too serious wouldn't do what he did, you know? Right. What does he do? Why? No, you'll see. Dude, everyone's singing it. No. Yeah. First of all, I hate this song. <laughs> How could you hate this song, dude? <laughs> Look, this song drives me crazy. I think it's right here, yeah. We got to get Steve Perry on here. I will, I will, I'll have to be here, too. <laughs> They're like, Sorry. wait a minute. He's fucking here. He's here. Where singing it's a song. No, Steve Perry's this is here. He's cheering us on. Oh wow. Wow. Then he like goes to the stairs. He's like walking up and down the stairs. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like you wouldn't. He remembers <laughs> he remembers the lyrics? Come yeah, on, just man. Get, just get, That's Steve get. Perry's. Steve yeah. Perry's. <laughs> anyway, you get it. He's, he seems no, like I want to see him walk through the stairs. Where he walked through the stairs. Dude, this... That's awesome. Maybe. Yeah, you, oh my god, it's so good. It might be a different. He might have done it multiple times at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Multiple yeah. times. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> he came back the next day, like, play it again. Play yeah. It again. It's got to be, yeah, because he's wearing a different thing in the other. Anyway. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, whatever. Look at it. Uh, yeah. You'll see it. I mean, they probably played it. Steve Perry's here. Let's, let's play a song. Let's yeah. play a song. Yeah, let's play a song. Yeah, maybe we'll get up and sing it. We're going to yeah. go viral on social media. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, I hate that song. Come on, how, man. Why, do you, what, why are you such hate? a hater on Because it, 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 it's played for every it's possible It's because you've thing. stopped believing. That's song. Yeah. It's the go-to 80s. Don't Because they don't man. need cheerleaders for okay. it. Okay. Yeah. So first of all. He's not holding the pom-poms right. Y'all sit here. And I let y'all hate the saint. But <laughs> I didn't I say I hated the saint. I just thought it was, <laughs> you know, right. it was one of those movies where you got to pay the bills. Type, you know. <laughs> no, that happens. In the, does that happen in the movie world? Where yes gotta, or no? Yes. Like they're like, I'm taking this because I have some. When Val Kilmer bills. made the saint, he stopped believing. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyways, yeah. that's our episode. Yeah. Derek, what'd you think? I thought it was amazing. I, I, I feel privileged to be here. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah. a privilege great to have, have you. This yeah. is fucking great. You guys Derek so got much range, fun. bro. So much fun, you know. And I got to sing some of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little tidbits. <laughs> little, t- little tidbits. <laughs> um, oh, man. You can catch Derek Green on tour. We don't get like a million views, but I mean, they know you're out there. I guess so. We yeah. will now. I'm yeah. in that band Sepultras. Yeah. Sepultras. Um, yeah. hey, Sepul- hey, go see Sepultras. We're doing yeah. the U.S. tour uh, coming out. September? Up with- We're doing it in, uh, yeah, I think September it starts with uh, legendary thrash from Florida, Obituary. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah. 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 And, what, uh, and uh, Agnostic playing, Front. Are you guys playing? Hell legendary yeah. Hardcore. Yeah. And a band called Claustrophobia. Are you guys They're doing from uh, Brazil. Uh, the Van oh, yeah. Buren again? In Arizona? I believe we are. Yeah. yeah. You like that venue. I do like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the best shows we've ever done there. Before that was trash. Oh, really? Yeah. Every show. Hey, in, I'm sorry. Everyone, everyone, I've heard. I've heard. Bro, yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. hates Arizona. The, I mean, I don't know. I hate to say that, but it was Most like, ba- not yeah, the greatest. A lot of bands do not like playing Arizona. But the last one was legit. And, yeah. the, and I think the one before that was even, it, it's gradually yeah. getting better and better. They're I just, know I know why bands don't like playing Arizona. Why? It took us forever to make uh, Martin Luther King a holiday. <laughs> oh, man. Why? Why'd you do that? Uh, hey, yeah, well, why'd you me? Th- yeah, you're from there. <laughs> <Who Bro. laughs> you're not going to give Martin Luther the, Kings the, a holiday? The Martin Luther Kings? <laughs> the Martin Luther Kings? <laughs> I have a dreams. <laughs> Anyways, that's our show. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. <laughs> Lesser known characters.